welcome to another episode of St. Vincent and Told Stories. On this episode, we feature the last of Ray Volcano in St. Vincent and we take you on our journey to Chatebele. Big ups to all of my subscribers and if you are new to the channel, hit the like button, the subscribe button and hit the bell icon if you wish to see more videos like these. We have just landed once more in Chatebele for another day of cleaning. God bless. God bless. I think you don't re we're already on. We we don't we're already on. Come back the water, I'm going to go home. Come back the water, I'm going home. God bless. Are you still in your move out? God bless you. God bless you. Um, clean off your wharf. You have to clean off, man. You have to clean off. You have to not ready for cleaning yet, man. Wait, no, I'm not going to clean. We are trying to do house roof first. Shato already started to look a bit good in terms of um, roofs that have already been clean. All right, a number of residents have already returned and, um, and cleaned the roof of the houses. So it's just the road and um, the yard. A number of persons they have been reaching out to me and um, complaining about how things are being um, taken care of, or the lack of care in the shelters. All right, and. I did promise myself that Yo Aho How much more package is it? Give me two of them one each Um, how much water did you have here? How much dinner are you? Four Give them that to the end of the case of water there We don't want you, man. <laughs> but the fact that we, we have already returned down here and started doing cleaning, I mean, they, they may not authorize it, they may not have authorized it, but cleaning is being done, right? People are taking the risk to do some cleaning. What they can possibly do is um, try and see how best they can provide us with some safety gears. You know, like the proper respirator masks, um, harnesses, and um, what else? Goggles and these things, right? Because the, 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 the cleaning process, of course, it's going to be done largely by the residents of the area. It's not a task only for the government, right? It is a task for every single one of us. Debbie, you understand? So we are already doing our part, and if they can assist. And yeah, the roads definitely need to be clean, okay? They need to do something about the roads. Right, but what I want to speak about is... um some reports that have been coming out of some of the shelters and in particularly this morning a young lady with a child a young baby at the Dubois government school in is it Bokument of Vermont one of them areas and you know she complained that last night supplies came to the shelter specifically drinking water right in the back doors and um, this morning they were offered water in in a container from the tank right which of course she doesn't um welcome it because she has to use it to care for the baby as well right let me see uh. yes so um i'm just making an appeal to these persons in the shelters right please these people they have been displaced all right mentally it's it's a struggle 
for a number of them to accept the situation that they are under right now okay i know that a lot of them would have a lot of demands and that is expected because of the situation that is at hand but still if the supplies are coming to the shelters and you are refusing to hand them out for whatever reason it is sending a bad message it is painting a bad picture about the government and Nemo and this dog this dog has like three puppies um, some lovely puppies you know the dog is actually drifting um, Paul, you got to bring down some extra water from up at you. Yeah. Let me show you the lovely puppies. You see, and, and, and these are things that during the whole planning for evacuation that should have been taken in place as well. You know, animals should have also been evacuated. Okay? Look at this. Look, look at this, my people. This is a crisis that we are facing right now, even the animals. Even the animals. Look at these lovely puppies. The best thing for do I get them out of dung, you know? Mm -hmm. eh? No, we could keep them home, baby. We could keep them home, baby. Look at how they are happy for this assistance look the dog can't even wait but really i didn't really plan for these animals but we have to now share our lunch with these animals that's how i'm supposed to do my bag of tuna remo home with a bag of sea for sardine yes my people 62 of you are now looking at this live i'll donate something man click on the link and donate ah uh, the statements i made a while ago what statement is that Uh, he has the biggest platform in us really to be able to emphasize the shelter manager. At this, this is the first time I'm seeing this. Look, the dog is actually eating the raw rice. The, the actual rice that we just brought for someone, we now had to share it with, with the fowls and look at this. The dog is actually eating the raw rice. The falls can't even get a chance. Cat dogs fall. Look how close they are living. Look how close they are living. You know, under normal circumstances, the dog is going to be running the fall. The falls won't even dare come close to the dog. And the cat, of course, same thing. But look, cat, dogs, fall. We have already given like a bottle of water. We would bring down some more. Make sure I get water if we don't eat all them rice there. Yeah? The rice ain't even cooked, but the dog's still eating it. And then it has to provide for... How many puppies do you get, Hulk? four puppies and I would love to believe that the cat the cat as well is, is um taking advantage of the fact that this dog is, is breastfeeding. Ah then I guess I got the pal No if you open me just open me properly Somebody has a long time then I see yard fall. We have yard fall man. Sweetest kind of meat ever. Just mean you have to pressure cook it, eh? Tough. Tough, eh? Yeah. As soon as the dog see how we boy dog hold up a rel and hand. You dog take maybe take your phone or something for you. <laughs> Again I'm appealing to us. Let us continue with relief effort. 
so now I have to cater for animals once I'm coming back down as well. Because the dog is eating raw rice. Raw and cooked rice. You know? Be generous. I know a lot of you may have already done that, but you know, it could never be too much. Whatever little you can donate, 